Rise of Cordoon is an upcoming open world survival game where you start off in the Arabian desert with the goal to go north into Kurdistan and liberate your homeland from the occupants. You start by giving your character a name, a look, and even pick a religion for yourself, which will in-game provide different abilities for your character. You then start your journey from scratch, farming clothes, building your base and preparing food, basically surviving in the harsh land of Kurdistan. Rise of Kurdun provides a good variety of Kurdish mythology, including the lore of Kawa, the blacksmith, and his campaign against Lord Zog, who plays the main antagonist in the game. But it also provides a more modern history of the Kurdish struggle, such as the Qazi Muhammad uprising, the story of Leila Qasim, and the revolution of Apple. This is very much a player-build world. You decide, you fix the world, you create the world, you build the houses, you make your own settlements, and you create your own empire eventually. In Rise of Kurdun, your survival tactics are really put to the test. You need to balance survival knowledge together with drinking, eating, and clothing your character. At the same time as you meet danger which you need to defend yourself from, using different kinds of weapons and armors. We have done everything we can to make this mod as realistic and fun as possible. And finally, we have a game which lets the player know about Kurdish history. We talked about creating the exact environment of Kurdistan in a mod, but we came to the conclusion that this would be very, very difficult to do. So we instead decided to create an alternative world inspired by Kurdistan. What this means is that the player will be able to explore places like Hawler, Ahmed, Kermanshan, the community of Rojava and Ararat. But it will, in some cases, be cities inspired by the real concept and in other cases ruins which are connected to the mod lore. To include as much as possible, we have even decided that some places only are mentioned by lore and history of the mod through interactable NPCs or notes that you can find on the ground or on a wall. In Rise of Kurdun, you can play as both single player and multiplayer mode. And while the single player mode focuses more on the epic lore of the game, the multiplayer mode also includes the ability to interact with other online players and either making alliances with them or wage war against them in Kurdistan. Our team has put a lot of time on this mod, almost a year now, and we are so excited to release it to the public. The mod includes over 300 points of interest, which are all representative to actual places in real-life Kurdistan. Every point of interest also holds at least two interactable items, which will present you closer to the lore of the game, but also actual history of Kurdistan. This means that the player will be able to play a epic survival game filled with action at the same time as it becomes an educational game which introduces Kurdish history and politics to the player. Being responsible for audio and sound effects of the mod has been amazing. We have made sure to add as much details to the mod as possible. Everything from actual Kurdish gameplay music to voices speaking Kurdish. Since our resources are limited, it has been a challenge to be able to complete our goal with the different sample tracks for the mod. But in the end of the day, we aim to finish a satisfying game full of detailed content for you. Being the first tester of the game, I am very excited to soon be able to put the mod into the early access stage. Here, you are able to test the game and give us constructive information about 
bugs and details that needs to be corrected before the full release.